Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another legendary item guide. And today we're going to be going over the White Rider. To get this gun, you're going to want to farm the Son of a Witch over at the Karnak's Wall. So head over to the Positive Headspace Fast Travel. It'll be at the very, very top of the map. And you're going to run forward, drop down to the arena, and take on the boss. Now, if you have not bought him yet, he is a very annoying boss. Uh, very top, hits you really hard. And on top of that, he has an immune phase too that does take a little bit to get through. So it will not be the fastest fight either. Anyways, let's do one kill together and hopefully get the drop here. We'll take him out, and it looks like we did not get it, so I will go ahead and play a clip of getting the drop, and we'll talk about the item. On the item card, we have ourselves the White Rider, and keep in mind the prefix and suffix of the one you have will change depending on the one you roll. This will be a Dahlia SMG that only comes in Corrosive Element, and for the red text, we have Putrefy, Rot, Spoil, and Fester. This is actually a reference from Path of Exile. In the game, you take on the Uber Elder, and this is one of his lines. Alright, so what does the gun do? Well, we have dual beam and single beam for the firing modes. Uh, for dual beam, when you shoot the enemy, well, I can't really show it here. It'll shoot at the enemy and then connect another beam to a second enemy nearby. And it will do less damage than uh, single beam because you're hitting two enemies at once. For single beam, it will be higher damage and also you have to charge it a little bit like the metal ones from BL3. Not too long. And yeah, you'll connect a beam and it will actually connect to the enemy so I can kind of move left and right here. And you'll see it kind of stays attached. And that will do higher damage than the dual beam. Okay, so we're on Chaos 20, let's go ahead and show it off. And I'm gonna say right off the bat, this is one of the, what I'm gonna rank top three SMGs in the game. Yeah, look at this, no annoyance going off, no nothing, and it's just hitting for insane damage. And this is a uh, single beam, the highest damage uh, beam you can get out of it. And we can use the dual beam too to attach two beams, and it won't do as much damage, but it still hits pretty hard. For me though, I prefer to stick to single beam because it does more damage and I can just kind of move on to the next target. I don't care about attaching a second beam. And yeah, this thing is disgusting. As for my complaints, just that tiny bit of charge time on the single beam is kind of annoying. Uh, dual beam doesn't have that charge, you get to shoot it right away and just click that and you know, it goes off. Even then, it's only like half a second, so it's not a big deal. And I'm always going to choose higher damage if I can. Keep in mind too, I'm not even like, you know, perfectly specced into this gun and like, I could roll a higher damage one too. And if I really wanted to, I could stack some enchants on it and make it even more crazy. You know what? We don't do it every video, but let's go ahead and take on a boss and see what it does. Alright, so we made our way to Zomb Boss. So let's go ahead and take him on. I'm gonna activate my spell and like shield enchant. Uh, my gun itself doesn't actually have any enchants on it, so it could be even more if I enchant it to the right stuff for my build. But you can see the damage is actually really, really good, and it's shredding pretty well for Chaos 20. So I can only imagine what it would do with a better build. Alright, let's finish off the kill here, so a little bit more, and the boss is dead. Cool. Um, anyways, I think that's going to be it for the video today, so let me know below in the comments what you guys think about the White Rider. Personally, I'm going to go ahead and rank it as one of the top three SMGs in the game, and I would definitely recommend you guys go out and pick one of these up. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more Waterlands content, then be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.